the worst thing that can happen is you're out in the open water and What's going on swim fans? Welcome to another workout of the week vlog and today I'm so excited to go for an open water swim but more so to show you guys how to use equipment to improve your performance and swim more efficiently both in the pool and in open water. Now, as you can see I'm here at the beach. It's a beautiful day. We're about to go for an open water swim and I'm actually going to split the workout into three different parts. So the first part I'm going to swim all natural in the open water, no equipment. I'm going to be safety first and I'm going to have my open water buoy of course but besides that I'm not going to use any other equipment. Now in the second part of the workout I'm actually going to follow the same pattern in the open water with a pair of swimming fins. I recommend short fins in the pool and in open water. That's gonna help me maintain a slightly higher pace. And if you make sure you've watched to the end of the video, I'm gonna include a little dry land circuit. I'm gonna do a sort of a bonus supplemental to the swim workout. And I'm also gonna analyze the data tracked with my Apple Watch on the My Swim Pro app after and show you guys what the results look like. Well, let's go. If you guys can see right behind me, there's this beautiful cove. And so we're gonna shoot for about a one kilometer swim, sort of doing a loop and then we're gonna come back to the beach, we're gonna reset, take a little breather, I'm gonna grab my fins, and then I'm gonna do the same loop again. And I'm gonna keep an eye on my watch, and I'm gonna keep an eye on what pace I'm trying to hold, and hopefully I can go a little bit faster on the second round. If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Ferris Sabetti. I'm the co-founder and CEO of My Swim Pro. And on this channel, we help athletes all over the world swim faster and smarter than ever before. So if you're looking to improve your performance and health, both in and out of the water, you've come to the right place. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, like this video, and let me know in the comments if you prefer pool swimming or open water swimming. I'll tell you guys for myself, I love the enjoyment of being with one with nature and swimming in the open water. At the same time, you can't really beat the consistency and the ability to work on technique in the pool. So for me, it's a toss up, but let me know in the comments. Also, if you're not already in the My Swim Pro Global Community Facebook group, check it out, linked in the description. Amazing, we have over 100 different countries represented, thousands of different swimmers from a different variety of goals, everything from former Olympians to beginner swimmers who are trying to lose weight and everything in between. So whether you're a triathlete, pool swimmer, open water swimmer, you've come to the right place and welcome to the My Swim Pro community. Swimming with equipment is a fantastic way to not only improve your technique, but also to add resistance in the water. And whether you're doing that in open water or in the pool, that can actually help improve your performance because you're gonna get muscle engagement that you wouldn't normally get if you didn't have any equipment at all. Now obviously when you're training and you're, you're trying to develop strength and endurance, you don't necessarily need equipment to do that. If you have a proper progression and you follow a training program, that progression, whether it's through speed or distance increases, will actually end up benefiting you in the long run. But you can definitely accelerate that with the use of equipment. So today I'm going for an open water swim. I'm only going to use one piece of equipment and that's the pair of fins. Now these are a shorter pair of fins. It actually doesn't matter if you're going to use the longer or the shorter. Just make sure you're used to whatever pair of fins that you're gonna use. So if you're used to swimming in shorter fins, don't just start using longer fins. And I would only recommend swimming with longer fins if that's something that you've always done. If you've never used fins, I'd recommend the shorter pair because it's a more realistic feeling of speed in the water. And when you're swimming with the fins, it's really important to not overdo it on your legs, especially in the open water. It can actually get pretty dangerous if you get like a, a, a cramp and you know, you can imagine you're in deeper water. That's why it's important to have an open water safety buoy, to swim in a group, have someone follow you. But most importantly, don't overtax your legs. Your legs should kind of just float behind you. And another benefit of swimming with fins, whether you're in the pool or in open water, is the fact that you can actually swim a little bit faster. So for me today, we're gonna go lap one, it's about a kilometer. We're gonna try and maintain a certain pace. Maybe I'll go about 130 pace. And then on round two, I'm gonna go a little bit more effort, but I'm gonna have the fins to support me and I'm gonna hopefully swim a little bit faster. If you're swimming with other people and you're in a bigger group and maybe you're not the fastest swimmer, it can allow you to keep up with the faster swimmers in the group. And that also holds true in the open water. But again, don't overtax your legs with the fins because you can cramp up. So make sure you're hydrated, make sure you start slow, build your progression, and of course, have fun. 
Now, before we get in the water, we're gonna do a dynamic warm up. This is super important, especially in open water, to get the blood flowing, muscle activation. You wanna activate your upper body, core, and your lower body because it's really difficult to do that in the open water. So, we're gonna do it before we get here into the beach. And it's also an important skill to do in a pool workout. So, before you hit the pool, it's always important to get the blood flowing. And it can also prevent your chances of getting injured. So, injury prevention, increase your performance while you swim. No reason not to do a dynamic warm up. Let's get it. That completes round number one. I felt pretty good. I felt pretty smooth actually. The water's a little chilly, but round number two, I've got some some bonus. I got some help on the on the back end. So we're gonna turn the engine on, take it to another gear. Let's go for round two. Woo! We just completed round number two. And as promised, now we've got the third round, which is the dry land workout. I'm actually gonna be following a dry land workout in the My Swim Pro app. It's total body engagement. It's gonna have a dynamic warm up. We're gonna do some burpees, some push ups, some air squats. It's gonna be a shredder. The goal of this workout for part one and two was to swim pretty casually, good technique. Round two, I definitely was swimming faster. I'm really curious to check out the stats. At the end of the video, we'll take a look at how fast I actually swam on round one compared to round two with the fins. But now we've got the dry land workout. Let's get changed out of this cap and goggles. Meet you back on the beach. So I just completed the dry land workout. I'm completely destroyed. It was only 12 minutes, but it was total body, so everything got engaged. Now we're gonna go analyze the results, but first, a quick bite to eat. We're now leaving the beach, and it actually got pretty cloudy, so I'm super pumped that we got to swim in when the sun is out, sun's out, gun's out. We're gonna go get some food. We'll talk about our swim. We are on a way to get some food right now, but I wanna first put a huge disclaimer out there. Don't try using new equipment for the first time in open water. So it's really important that you become comfortable in whatever equipment that you're gonna use. Do it in the pool and make sure you're really consistent. To be honest, for me, it's been four months since I used fins at all, and this was the first time I took them out in open water. I still haven't been able to get into a swimming pool yet because of quarantine, the pandemic, all that uh, bad stuff. So you know, really important that you make sure you don't try any new equipment 
make sure you're comfortable, build consistency. Consistency. The worst thing that can happen is you're out in the open water and you're using fins for the first time, you're not used to them, and then your legs cramp up and you're in the middle of the open water. It's like the worst thing that can happen. So you don't wanna have that, make sure you stay hydrated, but you can prevent and de-risk yourself significantly by using the fins in a swimming pool first and make sure that you're not trying anything new or any new equipment the first time you go out in the open water. Safety first, swim with a buddy, use an open water safety buoy and make sure you're having fun. I just got my snacks. I just got my bagel. Let's analyze the swim. So the first thing that I noticed immediately was how consistent I was on my first two loops. So my distance was almost the same. The first loop was 883 meters. Second loop was 907. And if you look at the map, they look almost the exact same. So I was actually really impressed. I was marking myself with buoys. So I was able to swim pretty consistent. Now the pace was really significantly different. So the first round, I was 159 per 100 average, and that includes my stopping time. So when I was taking a rest. My second uh, lap, I was a 140. So that's like 19 seconds faster per 100. I don't think I was swimming 19 seconds faster. I was probably swimming like 10 seconds faster. My actual swimming pace was probably like 120 per 100 meters with the fins. I was cranking with the fins, I was flying. And then in the dry land segment after, it was, you can see my heart rate peaked out uh, towards the beginning. I think I lost a little bit of motivation towards the end, but overall it was a fantastic workout, three part series, swim, swim with fins, and then a dry land circuit. After, all done in the My Swim Pro app with the Apple Watch. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe, like the video, and let us know in the comments if you like open water or pool swimming or dry land training for that matter. We'll catch you guys at the next video. Peace.